spent so much time every single day running around all the time in the morning there's not me Craig and Meg, I'd like to thank everyone for being part of their wedding day. Friends and family, we are gathered here today to witness and celebrate the coming together of Meg and Craig in marriage, to be with them, to rejoice with them, and the making of a deep commitment. Craig and Meg, on one of the most important days of your lives, you stand within the connection of your love, surrounded by the beauty of nature, and in the presence of your family and friends. You've already demonstrated in your living the love that you share with one another. You have chosen to live, have the ceremony as a way to publicly declare your union with each other and when you have already been experiencing together. Some would like to ask Chris for the ring. place this ring on my finger. Do you, Craig, take Meg to be your wife, to be your one true love, to always hold her by your side and in your heart? Do you promise to support her and comfort her in times of trouble and to share your happiness in times of joy? Do you promise to respect her and treat her as an equal partner and to appreciate the ways in which she makes you a better person? Do you promise to love Meg completely and unconditionally and to cherish each moment you have together for as long as you live? I like that stand up there. Just place this on Craig's finger. 
Do you, Meg, take Craig to be your husband, to be your one true love, to always hold him by your side and in your heart? Do you promise to support him and comfort him in times of trouble, to show extreme patience through many long year, losing years of Cleveland Indian baseball <laughs> for as long as you can live? Before I declare these two husband and wife, I'd like to read from Oh, the Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. You have brains in your head, you have shoes on your feet. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know, and you are the couple who will decide where to go. You're, you look up and down streets, look them over with care, and about some you'll say, we don't choose to go there. With your heads full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good street. You may not find any you'll you want to go down, in that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's opener there, in the wide open air. Out there things can happen, frequently do, to people as brainy and footsie as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew. Just go right along, you'll start happening too. Oh, the places you'll go. You'll be on your way up, you'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who sort of great heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have all the speed. You'll pass all the game, and you'll soon take the lead. Whenever you fly, you'll be the best of the best. Wherever you go, you'll top all the rest, except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with so many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, stay, step with great care and great tact, and remember that life's a great balancing act. And, and just never forget to be dexterous and deaf, and never mix up your right foot with your left. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 three quarters percent guarantee. Meg and Craig, you'll move mountains. So be your name Bucks Bomb or Waits or Cameron or Mordecai Ali Van Allen O'Shea, you're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. By the power vested in me and the state of New Hampshire, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Meg and Craig. Yeah.